Be of good cheer, it is I, Yoxy Angel Returns, welcome back to yet another episode of Splatoon 3's Hero Mode. Last time on Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, we did a rather cute level, the one down there. We actually got to draw a little outline of Little Buddy. This time, this episode actually might be a rather longer episode because we're going to clear this level and then we're going to try to find any other collectibles that we are missing right now before we actually take on the boss. And before we do that, I don't have any... I only have two Sardiniums, and I'm pretty sure I've already collected all Sardiniums here because I have the little check mark right there, and I'm assuming that means, oh, I don't have all the scrolls from the looks of it. Well, that, we'll get to that when we get to that. Without further ado, let's put a pin in that. Stay in your lane and reach the goal. What exactly does it mean by let's put a pin in that? I have absolutely no idea, but I guess we're about to find out. Wait a second. Is this a bowling reference? This is totally a bowling reference, isn't it? I was thinking of a completely different pit. It's a bowling reference. Yep, those are Octo... Octo something right there? Future me, you know what to do. Put the name of whatever those enemies are on screen right now. But these guys are... They ha only have one weakness. Their weakness is their head that is currently sticking out right there. Otherwise, if you try damaging the ball right there, as you can see right there, it actually didn't do any kind of damage at all. It just merely deflected our ink off of them. And oh my gosh, uh, one hit by them is not instant death. Well, it can be instant death if you're not careful, but you will take crazy damage if you manage to get hit by them. You know what? I do want that balloon. Oh, I should probably get moving before another bowling ball. Come see it. Oh, okay, good. How grim that they're just falling to their freaking deaths right there, like... And they're just ex Oh my gosh, wait, is there gonna be a- Ooh. Oh, I have to go- Ooh! Hi! Hello! How do you do? Oh, we gotta go all the way over there. Okay, I'm waiting for my- This seems to be a safe zone right here, so you know what? Make it my way! Little buddy, can you get that for me? Thank you! I'm trying to- <gasps> Eggs, eggs, eggs! X, 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 X. It reminds me of that one freaking Ed from Ed and Eddie. Ooh! Oh! I actually managed to... I unintentionally killed one on my own, even though... You know what? That was totally intentional. I knew what I was doing right there. Are they going to have a big old bowling ball by chance, or are they just going to have these guys? Because I remember in some of the levels in Hero Mode in 2, they had a big old... a big boy. Does that look... Wait, I got to go up there, don't I? I was about to actually fall off the map right there, because I, I was actually going to keep going that way, because I was like... I thought that's where I had to go. All right, that was actually rather short. But you know what? I like that level. All right, it's Squiffer time, everybody. Make that a meme, somebody. It's Squiffer time. Now it's Ryan time. Much like now it's Ryan time from Xenoblade Chronicles. Now it's Squiffer time, even though now it's Ryan time kind of sounds so much better than now it's Squiffer time. You know, we're going to make that a thing. Dang it, I'm probably going to forget about that by the time the video is over, and I'm actually never going to say that phrase again. But you know what? In the, I, oh, I wish I could actually title this now it's Squiffer time, but... No, I'm titling these videos the names of the levels, that way in case there's someone out there that needs help on a particular level in Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, then they know exactly where to go. All they have to do is search up the level name, and I'm hoping that my video will be in the recommendation for what whatever they find. And that was kind of the point of doing one level at a time. I actually thought about that before Splatoon 3's Hero Mode came out, or sp sp before Splatoon 3 came out, I should say. I, as mentioned previously, I already knew I was going to be doing a series on this, I just didn't know when. And I knew right off the bat that I wanted to do one level at a time. Kind of like what Sugar Conroy did in, did in, his, Splat in his Splatoon. Let's Plays, I wanted to do the same thing, because as you all know, Chuck Conroy is my biggest inspiration. I strive to be like him one day, and it just makes it just makes more sense, honestly, just going after one level at a time. That way, if anybody has any questions or they're stuck on a certain level, they could easily look it up and find a video instead of having to search through an entire video. And what I meant by that is, instead of looking through an entire video, what I meant is, instead of recording a f multiple levels in one video, 
the whoever, whatever level that they're currently stuck on, or whoever's stuck on, they can easily just find the level in one single video instead of having to go through like a 30, 40 minute video trying to find that one level that they're stuck on. Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, you bet you're sweet baby, I can make it! But yeah, that's kind of what I'm striving for right now, and honestly, it's kind of working out. I've noticed, I mean, views have kind of died down a bit, but you know what? That's bound to happen. But even still, like, some of my previous videos, they have so many freaking views on them. One of which is at at least 100 freaking views, which is insane to think about. It's always the most random levels, too. I cannot think of the video off the top of my head, but I remember when I released it, and I gave it a few days, and it just had a crap ton of views, and I'm just like, random, but you know what? I will take it. Okay, this level wasn't as bad. Then again, I say that a lot. And these levels really are never as bad as I think they are. Even when I do struggle on them, I'm more so annoyed than I am, you know, just the difficulty-wise. It's just me being an idiot on some of them. But I know this is just Site 4. We are two more sites before we actually get to progress to the final area, which I'm actually very much looking forward to. I can't wait to uh, find out what episode the final boss is going to be on. And with that, that is all the normal levels in Site 3. All we have left is the boss. So, Site 4, on Site 3, Site 4. Site 4, 5, and 6 are going to have 13 levels total. So, the series is going to be a long one, or much. the series is going to go on for much longer. Hello. But, you guys know the drill. Where did little buddy go? Oh, he's up there. But yeah, you guys know the drill. I'm actually going to cut until I find something to make it easier on me and make it easier on you guys. So we got some stuff left and there's something. But yeah, BRB. All right, there's something right here. And that's the level we just did. There's already something right there. I think that's going to be a scroll, so we're going to do the balloon up next. Have I... Okay, we'll get to that after we get to this. We're not going to find any sardidiums at all. Have I actually broken this already? Let's find out. The answer is yes, probably. I think I've already broken everything that's over there as well. Okay, balloon time. Okay, that one was actually really annoying to follow. So, we have Man Mano war Wardrobe. We are temporarily closed so that we may restock. Cash only, no photography or influencers allowed ever. We've run rather low on paper bills. We're always open. Your fashion emergency is armored. Fashion emergency, do not touch until you have paid for it. Oh, there's just a bunch of receipt papers. Interesting. We still have one more scroll to find from the looks of it. So, BRB. Oh my gosh, that took long enough. We found the other scroll. Wow. One year after expanding his business into a new region, bombarding his plotlands with over 20,000 hours of rapid fire weapons chatter. Oh my gosh, his steel scopes are aimed at a new horizon. What's next for the so called Arsenal Ambassador? Okay, cool. That's everything that's over here. How much, how much you guys want to bet that the final thing over here is actually the boss kettle? Part of me actually thinks that it might be. So, we found all the scrolls. Just to be on the safe side, I don't think there's anything else for us to find over here. I don't think so. Those are just basic crates. I am kind of confident when I say it's literally just the boss. So maybe this episode wasn't going to be as long as I was expecting it to be. So, well, with that being said, 
thank you everybody for watching. Next time on Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, we're going to be taking on the boss. Our second official boss fight, the pursuit of the precious. Fight your way to the exit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too. Take care and stay fresh, everybody.